Hi folks, welcome to my channel How to Tack It Differently with Akhil. Today we will see an easy way to do constructions that are involving angles. Usually geometry is a nightmare for children, uh, especially diagrams, lots of angles, arcs, lines, curves, etc. etc. So today I will discuss a method that is kind of like a cheat code that we use during the games. Okay. So now before I move to the demonstration, I need to remind you of a few things. Having the right gadgets, having the right gadgets is really important. Don't use any fancy stuffs because that is not going to get you the place where you need to reach. Okay. Secondly, use two sharp pencils. Okay. Two sharp, really sharp pencils. Here I'm using a pencil. This one pencil is for the compass and uh, this one is that I'm going to use to draw the lines and all. Now, the third and the most important thing is have patience because Rome was not built in a day. So that's enough with the statutory warning. Let's get into business. So today I'll be constructing a triangle given a side and two standard angles. So for my first construction, we'll be constructing a triangle. I hope you can see. We'll be constructing a triangle with the base as six centimeter and base angles, base angles, seventy-five degree and forty-five. Okay, so I hope that is clear, that is evident there. Now, so, the main, the first thing you should do is draw a rough diagram. Once you draw a rough diagram, you will get a picture of how your final diagram is going to be. This need to be a very uh, rough thing. You can draw freehand, mark one angle as 75 degree and the other angle as 45 degree and the base as 6 cm. Okay, now once you have done that, okay, you have done that, so this is your reference and using this reference, we will be constructing the actual diagram. Actually, this is like I said, let me remind you, this is not a shortcut or this is not any method, this is actually like using a cheat code in your game. Now, the first thing that you have to do is uh, draw that line segment 6 cm so I mark the 6 cm point. So draw that 6 cm. Now here I am using an art line pen. Be done with pencil. And remember, always use a sharp pencil. Now, as you can see in the rough diagram, I have marked angle B as 75 degree. So I have my got a line segment BC that is equal to 6 cm. Now remember, in order to construct a 75 degree angle, which are the angles that you need? You need 60 degree. You need 120 degree, you need 90 degree, and in between 60 and 90, you have your 75. So, this is our tool. Take out your tractor. Again, let me remind you, don't go for any fancy geometry box. Go for the simple. Camelin is the best in that line. Now, first of all, using the tractor, mark the 60, then comes the 75, then comes the 90, then comes the 120. First, using the protractor, marks the points 60 degree, 75 degree, 90 degree, and 120 degree. What you're gonna do next is using the you no know, before that, this is my compass. So make a small notch, small uh, dent in your endpoints B and C. That will give you a bit of a reference. Now, keeping B as a center, that's my 75 degree. That's what I'm gonna draw first draw a straight line sufficiently long enough okay now that is perfect 75 degree there's no argument in that now later you're gonna do what you're gonna do is mark the remaining points okay connect the remaining points using dotted lines okay use dotted lines to do that okay now this method what we are doing is we are actually going in the reverse form we construct first then we go to construction so that is my 90 degree up there okay that's my 90 degree okay now you can see that my 90 is done and uh, that's my 75 
it's my 75 degree okay now not 75 that's my 120 degree sorry that's my 120 degree okay i've done that now at point c you have to make an angle of 45 degrees so take come back to our compass sorry come back to a protractor the protractor there so which are the angles that you need to construct 45 you need 60 you need 120 you need 90 and you have 45 so I have marked that 45 there that's my 60 that's my 90 and that's my 120 now 45 is what you need so uh, using the reference point using the notch reference point draw a straight line that cuts through the first line exactly so mark that point as your A so right now you have your triangle A B C it is evident there now the remaining points have to be uh, connected using dotted lines so uh, again remember having patience is a key so be patient don't rush because this will hardly take a minute or two I don't know how much time I'm using there right now I'm into maybe three minutes or something but this is a four mark question usually uh, construction problems are four mark or five mark questions and uh, you know how much trouble you have while doing that now that's my 60 okay that's my 60 I hope now the advantage of using this is that even if the teacher finds out you have done it like this they cannot take away your marks so like I said this is not a shortcut this is using cheat code okay now I've done with my construction now this is the fun part now I'm gonna take my tool the compass now don't go with any fancy stuff fancy stuff will look only fancy they don't get your job done properly and neatly and remember to use a very sharp pencil now let's go back to constructing the arcs take a sufficiently enough arc which how much I don't uh, you can take whatever you want there's no restriction there but it should not be very long or it should not be very small sufficiently big enough so at point B keep the notch cut the arc and that's my 60 degree cut that's my second leg keep there that's my 120 that's for 90 that's for 75 for that and from this point cut it. now as you can see it's a perfect right so let me come back to my 45 that's my diagram okay that's my 60 degree that's my 120 degree that's my 90 degree and from here 45 the other part also 45 see perfect now if you have time uh, just shade whatever is that inside of that if you have time I won't say that you do it because it's there's nothing fancy about doing it and uh, it's not gonna get to an extra credit or anything but You'll always end up with a very nice and I think my eye should not have shaded that uh, but who, who cares see okay now now once you've done that uh, some teachers recommend I, I often recommend mark the remaining sides so my a b is up somewhere around uh, 4.8 so mark it up uh, right here uh, 4.8 and the other place it is uh, somewhere around uh, 6.7 like that as 6.7 centimeter so that's it easily done I hope you enjoyed uh, that construction and uh, this was splendid I believe so and uh, some of you might have thought this and you might have thought well, this is right or wrong uh, like you said there's nothing wrong when it comes to love and war everything is fair so for us 
this is a war. I know. For most of the students out there, math is World War Three. Okay, now this method can be applied to any kinds of constructions that is involving standard angles. So I'll be demonstrating one more. Okay, this time this is not going to be a triangle. This will be the construction of a quadrilateral. So you can see we are constructing a quadrilateral ABCD with AB is equal to 4 cm, B is equal to 6 cm, C D equal to 5 cm, and angle B 120 degree and angle C is equal to 105 degree. So I won't go into the details of it. I'm not going to describe you how to do it because you've already seen it. So let's uh, stay back, watch, and enjoy. We'll be doing a small time lapse on this. Thank you. See, this is a final product. This is our quadrilateral ABCD with uh, measurements 4 cm, 6 cm, 5 cm, and angle will be 120 and 105 degree. And uh, this was the first one that is a triangle ABC. Okay, now. So, this method can be applied uh, to construct any uh, triangle or any, any polygon involving standard angles. Now, if you like this content, please like, share and uh, support my channel and also comment your uh, valuable suggestions and any topics that you want me to discuss uh, in general so i'll be coming up with a few more topics from math uh, especially from secondary and senior secondary sessions so please stay tuned don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get the future videos Thank you folks, have fun doing math, take care.